second encounter with the freaking norovirus yesterday. We were just laying in a hotel doing nothing all day. Now we are ready for our most epic adventure within our epic adventure. We're gonna paddle. We're gonna, we're gonna aqua blaze. Oh yeah, aqua blaze. So we are now heading north via the Shenandoah River. It's kind of fun. A little, little bit of rapids every once in a while, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can stay dry on the whole whole week trip. So we not so stealthily stealth camped at a church pavilion last night. Um, Still a lot of fun, nicely mowed area with somewhere to sit and eat. So better than expected out here on the river. So aqua blazing is a whole lot harder than hiking. Um, I think we were all under the impression that we were gonna take a week off and chill out and you know just kick back and relax and still make some miles. No, there has been zero relaxing and. Um, but anyway, but it has been fun, but it's been scary. Like, you think you're going to just tip the canoe at any second and lose all your stuff and everything's going to get wet. And it's nerve-wracking. So, I've, uh, I hope it calms down a little bit, which it should. And, uh, and then I'm looking forward to hiking again, <laughs> believe it or not. So we decided that our aqua blazing adventure uh, is going to get cut short. We've been at it for two days, and we've uh, we've had some adventures, but it's just it's just not worth it. I don't think. I mean, hiking is so much easier, and uh, well, we took some spills, got some stuff, you know, completely soaked, got a little injured. Uh, I personally got smacked in the face a few times by some pretty big branches. It just it's been more stressful than it has been fun, so we're going to go ahead and start hiking again. So, off we go. Alrighty, well, aqua blazing was, it was fun, but it was just a little too risky for our taste, and uh, we're just done with it. It just wasn't for us. and. Uh, we just didn't want to like injure ourselves aqua blazing to where we couldn't finish the hike. Anyway, but we're glad we did it. And uh, now we're back out on the trail. Ambassador is actually ahead of us. Um, who knows how far by now, but he's, he's booking it to New York because his girlfriend is going to meet him there in like 20 days. So he has to average like 20 miles a day to get there on time. But, so he's ahead of us. And... Uh, yeah, we're just enjoying the Shenandoahs now and enjoying hiking again. It's nice to be back on our feet. <laughs> we are camping in a actual campsite in the Shenandoah National Park, and uh, it's it was fifteen dollars, but it was worth it. We came in here just to use the restroom, and there's like water fountains and and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we actually stay because we met another married couple uh, who's from Austin and uh, we wanted to hang out and chat with him for a while and we talked to him for probably two hours so uh, it was well worth it, a lot of fun. We actually interviewed them, maybe we'll use that in the documentary, it's gonna be fun, but um, it's very nice here. It's very good to be camping up at a higher elevation. It's much cooler right now than it was right next to the river. So uh, just, just have fun relaxing. We are at mile 915 we are about out of Virginia and we finally found the elusive green tunnel we've been hearing about. Yesterday was not the greatest of days. Um, just a lot of little things just built up to a, just a big <laughs> bad day. Um, 
it rained and so which was fine the rain was refreshing but then our feet were like all soggy and um, we were going 23 miles so it was by the time we got to camp our feet were just shot and um, then we got to camp and we were so tired we weren't gonna set up the tent so we just set up in the shelter and then as soon as the sun went down like literally like 10 mice just like came out of their nest and were like all running around our stuff so Obviously, we couldn't stay in the shelter, so we set up our tent in the dark, and um, we're in the Shenandoah National Park right now, and bears are, like, really active here. People see them every day, and um, we haven't personally, but I'm sure we will. Um, and last night, there was deer, like, walking around our tent, and we thought it was a bear, and, you know, just one of those, you didn't sleep very well, and we're both, like feel bad and there's ticks around and Jeremy literally just had a little tiny tick on his shirt and I don't know just <laughs> so many things like and we're oh I already said we're both sick and just I don't know bad times but I mean good times we're still on the AT we're still positive but just a bad day So last night we uh, we trucked it to get to a hostel, took a well-deserved shower, and did some really needed laundry. All of our stuff was smelling kind of mildewy because it had been raining off and on about three days in a row, so there was no drying out. Um, we we're actually staying at the same hostel again tonight, but as you can see, we're out in the woods where we're about to start hiking for our first slack pack ever. Yeah. We're gonna hike 17 miles with hardly any weight and just book it. It's gonna be fun. It's the slack pack dance! <laughs> Cicadas are everywhere. This just in, slack packing, the coolest thing ever. There were a bunch more. Red Sour Patch Kids. Jeremy knows that they're my favorite, so he saved all the red ones for me. What a dream boat. We had the hostel to ourselves last night, which was awesome, because usually you're sleeping next to complete strangers, snoring right in your face and whatever else, <laughs> and uh, it's really nice. We, uh, me and Jeremy just slept so soundly, and now we're gonna hit the trail again and uh, hike to another hostel. <laughs> So we just got dropped off at the same spot we were dropped off yesterday morning, although now we have our big heavy pack sound. And we're gonna go north instead of south, which is where we're supposed to be going anyway. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna be at Bear's Den tomorrow, it's gonna be fun. I uh, just have to hike with big heavy packs on today, which we are kind of used to by now. Trail magic, that funky magic. What you got there? Strawberries. Woo woo! Fruit is a good idea for trail magic. I like it. Fruit is so good. So we knew Ambassador was ahead of us. We thought he was ahead of us by a few days, but apparently he's only been ahead of us. He's only ahead of us by a mile.
I have a little friend. Today is going to be a great day because today is one day 100 on the trail. That's crazy. And number two, we're going to Bears Den Hostel, which is supposed to be an awesome hostel. I'm really looking forward to it. And the best part of all, my sister Katie is going to be at the hostel waiting for us and we're going to hike with her for about a week. So I haven't seen her in a hundred days and so it'll be nice to see her. Hey, Katie. Oh, what is on you? Is that my shirt? No, yeah. That's my shirt. <laughs> I've been wearing her clothes while she's gone. <laughs> she doesn't know. I love good move, good move, good move. No cheek, no cheek. No, no. <laughs> no cheek. I love you. And my mouth is open. <laughs> yeah, it was. But hey, everyone. I just wanted to give all of you a quick shout out for all of your love and support. I'm talking about you, all our friends and all our family and all of our fans that we've never even met that have been giving us tons of support along our, along our journey. I just thank you so much. I just do want to make a note for everyone who's watching on YouTube and on our website, the easiest way to ask us a question or talk to us that we'll actually respond to is on our Facebook page. If you send us a personal message on our Facebook, we are really good about uh, getting back to you. So a lot of times, I mean, we use it, we use the iPod for everything. So the app for YouTube won't let us re reply to you specifically. So I mean, it would be hard for you to know that we're talking back to you or responding. So if you want to leave us a note or something like that, um, you, you know, we do read them on YouTube. We do read them on our website. So we feel all the love, and we just want to let you know if you want us to actually get back to you. Facebook's the way to do it. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.